Denver voters have their mail in ballots by now, and you have that handy voter guide explaining the issues. So this is a good time to mention that the claims in the voter guide may not be true. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger's along and Marshall, we learn something new every day. Did not know this. I rely on the blue books for simplified breakdowns of ballot issues. The state blue book, which is actually the color blue, covers the three statewide ballot issues we all have to vote on. This is written by nonpartisan staff and vetted in a way by Democrats and Republicans at the Capitol. Denver's version of the blue book has the 13 ballot issues on the city ballot, and the for and against statements in here may not be true. Ballot measure 2C is one of five bond questions facing Denver voters. A yes vote means you're okay with the city borrowing money to pay back later with interest for city transportation needs. A no vote means you don't want the city borrowing the money. Denver's version of the blue book explains what this means financially for the city, and then it includes comments for and against. I've always used it as at least a baseline, particularly on stuff like this. What caught Jeff Helgerson's attention were the written comments against 2C, one of the areas 2C would pay for bike lanes. The argument against 2C makes a claim about the lack of use of current bike lanes on South Broadway. A recent study shows that 0.02% of the traveling public uses the lanes. When I kind of ran the numbers, that's about 140 people in the entire city that they're claiming use bike lanes, which seems obviously pretty low to me. Jeff put in more effort than even I did after reading Denver's Blue Book. He emailed the city looking for the study that's referenced and found out the city did not have it because the statements are not vetted for truth. Our job when it comes to this guide, we are the compilers of the information. We do not perform fiscal analysis. We do not fact check what are essentially people's opinions. The comments for 2C are written by city council since council put 2C on the ballot. The comments against can be provided by any registered Denver voter. The clerk can only summarize a comment to shorten it if it's longer than 500 words. A pro or con statement can't have any profanity, indecent language, or moral language anything considered offensive, libelous, or scandalous. We do not, under current law, have editorial over what gets submitted to us. If you're going to write in and say, my comments are against or for something, and here's why, and it incorporates some sort of a numerical or study-based comment, you need to have a, an attachment field for your comment that says, here's my reference. I found out who did write this against paragraph for 2C. I reached out to that voter, called her. I've yet to hear back from her, Kyle, so we're just going to stash it back in the mailbox for now and, and call that section good. Oh, look at that. Uh, Marshall Zellinger in his handy mailbox. So quick question, Marshall. We know that when you break down the ballot issues for us here and you put them on 9news.com that your reports do not have any indecent language or anything scandalous or libelous. But just checking your for the record, your reports on the voter issues, they do have to be true. They have to be true, and I can't find the exact example in this, but if you go into the at least the statewide blue book, there's the section that details, like in pages, what's actually going to become in state law, and I review that to make sure there's nothing hidden in there. As a co-worker of ours who did not intend to be on TV, was just on TV. Marshall, thank you.